Ben here, competitive street jiu-jitsu instructor on BJJ Fanatics. Today I'm posing a question. We are beta testing the combination of two techniques. If someone shows me a knife, or I think I have a knife and I have distance, my defense, as you've seen multiple videos, a very high percentage going in with a dog catcher or jaws or quan sap to a pass to a rush into our one. That is the best defense because even if it's, it turns out he's got a uh, reverse grip and it's overhead stab, I can turn this to this to this to pass. It's very, very good. This now is combining, well, what if the more likely close range attack is when someone doing, someone's here at close range and you're uh, at a club, you're at a bar, someone's trying to kill you to get revenge on something, I mess with this girl, or I'm a bouncer and he comes up on me right again. Sewing machine, I'm dead. Usually you grab the shirt or a collar tie. This is very common in prison. So it, it's usually someone getting it out of their waistband or they already have it out, uh, hiding it behind their leg. So if I know from a distance and I think he's gonna attack me from way out here, I'm gonna do my palms up dog catch your jaws. But if I, it's closer range and it's here, the typical is an arm weave technique, uh, in many other systems. I'm hoping to get an arm weave. Now when you see people demo that, he's nice and loose for me, and loose for me, and it ends up all perfect like this. And that looks really awesome. And then even the face when you strip the knife. The problem is when you actually pressure test it with a lot of energy, you come a little bit harder. Here we end up, not there, here we end up here. So the problem is he can flay me, so I gotta know biomechanically, I gotta keep my shoulder high and my elbow high to get him here, and that way I'm only caught a little bit before I strip the knife. Hopefully. So others have proposed, like my friend turned friend of me turned enemy, Barrocus Leon Navisius martial arts journey, that a uh, cop came up with this. So instead of here and hit where the neck hold, which is typical, instead of trying to stop his forward momentum with this across his chest and this, like a railroad, going into the knife. So we're hard blocking more, maybe probably on the side, though I tend to use sensitivity in the back of the forearm, but can use either way. But we're stopping his momentum coming in here, and then when he rebounds for the multiple hits, because that's what he's planning, I find the baseball bat two on one, which I've taught before. You have to train baseball bat, because it happens. Against my 6'4 student, you see lab goes, I did the dog catch with Jaws Quan Sam, and he bounced off from the rebound so hard, it was sliding with each other, there was a whole nother swing, and I ended up in baseball bat. And then you got into a baseball bat position to pass it to rush into a one or stab it into the ground, use your blue foot uh, on the ground or strip the knife. But anyway, here to here, from here to on one, then when he goes to step, the next time I'm gonna wait for the energy and pass it then to get my tight two on one position. I don't want to be up here. I want to have all joints, wrist, elbow, and shoulder tight to my body, and then I'm going to go down at a 45 degree angle. I don't want him to get this back. I don't want to wrestle here to my body, attach tight, down. And on the street, I really try and snap the elbow. So there's two techniques. Here's the height. You're close. Go to grab and go pop up. Here's technique number one, and I got it. It's a rebound. Let's show it again. Just look, we're gonna go in line. Here, this is a technique a lot of people do. The problem is, like I said, you'll see it in seminars taught like this, but in reality, it ends up like this. And then I gotta work quickly against that elbow joint before you can flay my neck. And hopefully not get too deep. The other technique is stopping the momentum just 50% speed of life. Here, and then I go baseball bat. Then from baseball bat, when it goes to stab again, I pass it, get to my two on one, and then I take it out. Now, what I'm suggesting, and I would like people to beta test, is combine them both. My goal is to get the arm right. But instead of going here or here on an arm right, we're going to combine these techniques for the stopping his momentum because he's really going to be walking at you with intention to kill you. So he's coming up, I go here. But if you get the arm wrap, back hit it, knee the face, strip the knife. Hammer lock. It goes flying when you get it. But combine it with this, here, the baseball bat. So if I miss, if he's really pumping fast when people pressure test it, they can't get the rep the first time. 
So if you don't get the wrap, and it takes sensitivity, but if you don't get the wrap and it comes all the way back there, know that your plan B is immediately after stopping his momentum to go to baseball bat control. If I can, um, if I can get the wrap, even if it's loose there, that's the reality of it, but I'm good at least trying to control. You okay? Yes, here. So, instead of here, or just here is my plan, combine them both, where I'm going here, if I wrap, cool, back pivot, do my wrap, but if he rebounds, 50%, and I didn't get it, shit, I had already planned to have plan B to get baseball back. So hopefully I can hollow out my body, even if he's pummeling it back. The second time, go again, I can hollow out my body and end up with this instead of that. Okay? So again, you'd be in a fence, hide it, come up on me, 60%, boom, boom, pass. Down. 50%. Rebound it like you're really trying to come. See, I might have gotten a little bit, but I ended up in baseball bat. Here, here, but I'm trying to wrap. Again. I got a pretty good wrap and I keep that shoulder high because here you can get it back and hang it in my neck. So I got to keep that shoulder. But now my goal is to wrap, but I know that I might end up in baseball bat when it's ready. So, come on, buddy. Close range. Okay, man, what's going on? Hey, man, I want to show you something. I just want you. That's good. Make sure you're not doing one step that one. Because it really try to, uh, try to pump you. Be close. Okay. Hey, okay, man. Hey, man, you got the time one? No, no, no. What's going on? What's going Great, but don't have me instead. Let's try. I got one more. I think. <coughs> Hi, Dave. Let's see. Focus. Hey, man, can I say something? Can I say something real quick? There goes the ground. One more. Hey, man, you got some money? I can walk you. That's one more. I'm going. Just one. Dead. We got four good stabs in the room. Ready? Ready? One more. That's it. One more. Hey, man, you got some? You got some? <laughs> so, not the best. It's very hard. I'm try to stop the momentum and be while you go to play and beat baseball. This guy's trying to. Yeah. <laughs>